You want to start investing, but you only have a thousand dollars. Here's how you can invest your first thousand dollars. People like making investing sound like it's rocket science, but all investing is, is you're planting a seed and then you're watching it grow. The easiest way to start investing is with the stock market because you can simply do it on your phone. If you're not making money using your phone in 2023, just throw that thing away. The stock market is the perfect place to transfer money from the impatient to the patient. Warren Buffett. If you want to know more about what stocks are, dividends, ETFs, then check out my video on how to invest. I just posted it a couple days ago. I will give you guys three simple portfolios where you can allocate your first thousand dollars. These portfolios consist of ETFs, dividend stocks, and tech stocks. They are very simple portfolios and I'm pretty sure one of them should stand out to you guys. So let's take a look. The first portfolio is a 60-30-10 portfolio that is medium risk and medium growth. The second one is the dividend portfolio with low risk and low growth but passive income. And the third one you guessed it is the growth portfolio with high growth but high risk so the 60 30 10 portfolio consists of 60 percent in etfs such as your vdys vfvs your s p 500 etfs 30 percent in dividend stocks such as your bank stocks your canadian banks td royal bank and then you'd have your 10 percent in speculative or tech growth stocks such as Apple, Google, Airbnb, Square, you name it. That is your 60-30-10 portfolio. So it has a bit of everything. It has the ETF growth, it has the dividend safety, and then it has your high risk tech, tech growth. Next we have the all round dividend portfolio which consists of 70% in dividends, 20% in ETFs, and 10% in growth stocks. So your 70% would all be dividend stocks, but your 20% in ETFs must be an ETF that pays a dividend, such as VDY. And then your tech stocks, they must be dividend paying tech stocks, such as Apple, Microsoft, or a semiconductor like Taiwan Semiconductor, Nvidia. Stocks that give a dividend, especially if it's a growth stock, it must give a dividend. If you guys are enjoying the video so far make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like guys it really helps the channel next we have the high risk portfolio with 50 percent in tech stocks 30 percent in etfs and 20 percent in dividend growth stocks your 50 percent in tech is obviously like apple google microsoft and then your 30 percent in etfs would be etfs such as xqq or qqq so ETFs that invest in tech stocks or the tech sector. Next, you would have your dividends would be 20% in dividends. So the 20% in dividend stocks you want in this portfolio are dividend stocks that have massive growth potential. So these dividend stocks, they'll do about 10 to 20% a year. And some of these stocks are stocks like, like the Canadian banks like TD or Suncor and a stock like Visa because these stocks they pay a dividend but they also give massive return year over year such as 20% or 10% year over year so guys there you have it that's three portfolios which you can choose from whether you're a dividend investor a tech investor or just an all-round investor let me know in the comments if you guys like these portfolios maybe in the future i'll release more portfolios make sure you guys like subscribe and leave a comment and we'll see you guys next time